Hey, eighth grade. Today we're looking at lessons four and five in our erosion and deposition chapter, um, wave erosion and wind erosion. So key questions from lesson four, how do waves cause erosion and deposition? And lesson five, how does wind cause erosion and deposition? So waves shape the coast through erosion by breaking down rock and moving sand and other sediment. A headland is a part of the shore that sticks out into the ocean. Waves shape a coast when they deposit sediment forming coastal features such as beaches, sandbars, barrier beaches, and spits. A beach is a wave-washed sediment along a shore, a coast, excuse me. Longshore drift is the movement of water and sediment down a beach caused by waves coming into shore at an angle. A spit is a beach formed by longshore drift that projects like a finger out into the water. Deflation is the process by which wind removes surface materials. Wind erosion and deposition may form sand dunes and less deposits. Sand dunes are a deposit of windblown sand, and a less is a wind-formed deposit made of fine particles of clay and silt. So our vocab, headland, a part of the shore that sticks out into the ocean. Beach, wave washed sediment along a coast. Longshore drift is the movement of water and sediment down a beach caused by waves coming into shore at an angle. Spit is a beach formed by longshore drift that projects like a finger out into the water. Deflation is the process by which wind removes surface materials. Sand dunes are a deposit of windblown sand, and less is a wind-formed deposit made of fine particles of clay and silt. So, complete the modal questions for lessons four and five. Uh, you will be having a test, or a quiz, I think it is, a quiz on Thursday. So let me know if you have any questions. Start studying if you want already, and have a great day.